everyone welcome to an academy neat english i'm your biology educator ambika sharma you might have seen one post on social media and uh, many teachers are also talking about that and that is that y chromosome is disappearing there is a sex war going on and there come and the, in near future there are chances that males they are not going to be on this planet right they are not going to be on this planet and they will disappear so do you know anything related to that if yes then good if not then this video is for you because here in this video i will discuss everything related to that particular research actually this research was there in 2022 right and now uh, you know the scientists they are discussing it okay and uh, we all have seen it on the social media so now i'll tell you what is actually uh, happening and uh, uh, is there any chance that uh, with the time the males will disappear and and because the y chromosome is uh, reducing right its size is decreasing so how is it going to affect the males so this is what we are going to discuss here so here you guys can see the title it is from a research paper the degenerate y chromosome can conversion save it right so basically a research is there so first of all just have a look what are they saying that human y chromosome is running out of time in the last 300 million years right in the last 300 million years it has lost 1393 focus on this 1393 genes out of its 1438 genes so at this rate the, it will lose the last 45 genes so basically that y chromosome which is a very important chromosome which is going to decide the sex of that uh, zygote right so it is so it will lose the last 45 genes in a mere 10 million years so now let me elaborate this thing because i believe there are some non medicos also who, those who are watching this video so in the class 10th we have started it that xx is going to decide if xx chromosome is there it will decide uh, the female will form okay we know that in our body we have the autosomes right and we have the allosomes normal body chromosomes and we have the sex chromosomes so total 23 pair of chromosomes we have okay means total 46 chromosomes so out of that 23 chromosomes 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair is going to decide our sex so if it is xx it will be female but if it is xy it is male now the point here is this y chromosome it is very important for males because actually this chromosome decides the uh, male sex okay because this y chromosome is having a gene that is sry gene my dear student this gene is having that test is determining factor okay and let me tell you right i will not enter in that depth here this y chromosome is also having short and long arm and one arm of it will contain the sry gene and if that arm will be removed from the y chromosome even male will not develop that is also something very interesting so basically the point here is students that initially if i started from the starting the x and y chromosomes they used to be of same size but now there is only one y chromosome so during the course of evolution and during you know further with a division division with replication and all what happened when this y chromosome when it was getting uh, like when whenever there is a breakage in that y chromosome na it is not having any counter y chromosome so it was not able to recover it in the case of x chromosome we have two x chromosomes right means there is one extra copy of x chromosome so do, so if there is any damage right or something so during recombination it can recover but that thing doesn't happen in the case of y chromosome that is why that is why with time this y chromosome has lost many genes so it is not something new that y chromosome is disappearing or something right during the course of evolution y chromosome is losing its genes without any doubt but now that rate is more and it is expected that in next 10 million years uh, you know the males they will just vanish from this planet right they have enjoyed the patriarchy but unfortunately when it comes to their genes they don't have that privilege okay so now what is happening so 600 genes lost in million of years right and the depletion rate is basically 10 genes per 10 per million years means in 1 million year 10 genes they are disappearing so now you know that current number of gene is that y chromosome is having 55 and 56 only now bachche the y chromosome is something very 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 important when it comes to the male so now in the national academy of science right basically uh, they conducted a research right they conducted a research a research paper was published and that research was basically on a spiny rat it belonged to japan so they were they have studied that y chromosomes are not there still male is persisting but is it possible in the case of is, is it possible in the case of uh, humans that is what we are going to discuss now so here you guys can see that normal x chromosome okay it is having 900 genes 
and it is doing all other sorts of jobs other than determining the sex but why chromosome containing 55 genes only few genes only and a lot of non coding dna but it is the one that is going to start the male development right i told you already why because of this sry G, right, which is on the Y chromosome. Now, what is the next thing here? Most mammals, right, there is a, the Y chromosome is disappearing. But let me tell you students, in other mammals, there are other mammals also, where XY chromosomes are normal pair of chromosomes. They are normal body chromosomes. They are not determining the sex there. Like we here, the example is of Australian platypus. But yeah, again, again, Australian platypus and mammals, they are evolving in different directions. So we cannot rely on this thing right we cannot rely on this thing so in turn y chromosome has lost 900 to 55 active genes over the 166 million years that humans and platypus have been evolving separately as i said right and as i said the remaining 55 genes there are chances in next 11 million years they will get disappeared now what's the point here you can see see they have written it there are some rodents they are also the mammals with no Y chromosome. So it's a good news. There are some rodents with no Y chromosomes, right? Uh, so, but they are still surviving. So this uh, research, as I said, it is on spiny rats of Japan. Okay, so each boasts some species in which Y chromosome and SRY have completely disappeared, right? They don't have that gene, but still, but still that mammals are surviving without that Y chromosome, without that gene. So Kuroiva's team, right, they discovered most of the genes on the Y of spiny rats had been relocated to other chromosome but found no sign of SRY nor the gene that substitutes for it. So basically as per this research, right, the chromosome which used to determine the sex, right, the male sex, right, and the gene, it is not in the case of that spiny rat, it is not there in the case of another chromosome. Like let's say if there is a gene on Y chromosome, we believe that that gene has moved to some other chromosome and it is determining the sex, but it is not like that in the case of spiny rat, right? in the case of spiny rat so what they discovered was a tiny difference near the key sex genes right bache so a small duplication was present in all males and no females so yes they have reported they have reported some change in the basis right they have reported some change in the basis some genes on some chromosome this is what they have reported now the point here is right now the point here is that is there any possibility that with time males disappear yes there are chances right there are chances but it is not going to happen happen in two years or three years or ten years it is going to take time this is the first thing now what is the second thing here students uh, like uh, you know that because this y chromosome and genes they are uh, you know uh, reducing they are disappearing that's why and because males are having only y one y chromosome they don't have counter y chromosome so yes there are certain things which are there in the case of males only i'll give you the example of hemophilia right in the case of males there is only one x chromosome they don't have any counter x chromosome right and if that one x chromosome is having defective allele for the hemophilia obviously they are getting the they are getting the disease right i'm giving the example of x chromosome here other than that there are many sex influenced or sex limited trait right like in the case of males we see the baldness but in the case of females it is not there right because why the hormones there right so yes these are the changes which are going on but with the time because it is evolution right it is evolution with the time it is possible with the time yes it is possible that this y chromosome disappear but yes there are chances that might be some other genes evolve right now there is something very interesting that i just read i'll tell you about it i'll tell you about it it is something literally very interesting right so some lizards and snakes we know that they have female only species only females are there and in their case what is happening parthenogenesis is there you know what is parthenogenesis right parthenogenesis means right without fertilization without fertilization egg will develop into an adult right but it, this cannot happen in human or other mammals because we have at least 30 crucial imprinted genes that work only if they come from the father by a sperm right if some that genes will come from father only then this thing is possible uh, then uh, because that genes they need to come from the father only right so in our case parthenogenesis is not possible right so to reproduce we need sperm and we need men meaning that the end of y chromosome 
could herald the extinction of the human race. So we cannot be happy that only females are going to dominate this planet. Both are required, male and female. Right, both are required. So if Y chromosome will not be there, even human race will be eliminated. So new finding, this supports an alternative possibility that human can evolve a new sex determining gene. Okay, so if you are thinking, oh my God, we are going to disappear. No, we are evolving and you know that we adapt. Okay, we adapt. So there are chances that we will adapt in such a way that some new genes will come. Maybe we'll evolve into a new species, but we cannot say that we will be eliminated from this particular planet. So however, evolution of a new sex determining gene comes with risks. What if more than one new system evolves in different parts of the world? Right. Yes, it is also the possibility. Let's say in one part of the world, this uh, disappearing of Y chromosome, it has a faster rate. Maybe they evolve into something else and we will become something else. That is also the possibility and that is the beauty of evolution. Here you cannot predict anything. Right here you cannot predict anything. So this is all about this. So a war of the sex genes could lead to the separation of new species, which is exactly what has happened with the <coughs> spiny rat. So this is all about the truth of this particular discovery. So don't worry. Don't worry, we can evolve, something new can come. So let's wait for it and obviously we are not going to survive till then or maybe we'll take some another birth, right? So this is all about it. So if you liked it, do let me know in the comment section. If there is any other doubt related to it, you can ask me. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel for such informative information and not just informative, it is going to be the scientific one because uh, when I have researched everything, I've checked everything, when I have checked the authenticity of this news then only i posted the video so take care guys and do not forget do not forget to join our right free unacademy trial and it is the last day today so you can go to the end of a uh, description box of this particular video as well and here is a link click on that link and be the part of this trial so till then take care thank you so much hope you enjoyed it